Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop and today I'm going to make a video about hopefully abling to revive this old 14.4 uh, volt Ryobi uh, cordless drill battery. Uh, it's been years I've had this drill here uh, since probably the late 80s, early 90s uh, I want to say and the original battery died I bought a replacement and I guess from lack of use the, this battery also uh, stopped working and this here is the original charger uh, the original 14.4 volt charger and I believe it's still working uh, when I put the battery in the charger uh, I get the charge plus yellow light and the fully charged green light stays on it never moves over to the the red fast charge light because usually when you put a battery in the charger within five seconds it'll um, do a quick self test and then move over to the fast charge and of course when it's done charging it'll be on uh, the green light solid green um, so also what I did was uh, just to double check that my drill still works uh, because I don't have any of the batteries that have this uh, this connection type here uh, to be able to put in there to uh, see if it still works um, I have a power supply before I get any further uh, if you're gonna attempt this uh, of course you know safety first that's always my motto uh, make sure you have uh, safety goggles um, you're not working with too much uh, amperage uh, Voltage, it's going to be about double the amount, so about 29 volts DC uh, is what you're going to be working with. But at no time you're going to be touching anywhere that you can potentially get a shock. So what you're going to need for this, if you're going to try this, um, is some electrical tape, uh, like I have here, and some wires. Uh, I just so happen to have this wire already pre-made, and it's got these spade connectors on them, uh, right there on the end on the uh, red and the black so and these happen to fit perfectly on here like this so that um, you're going to use electrical tape to tape it on there in order to be to, uh, to do the process the testing or the actual reviving of it but just to show you that this drill uh, still works um, let me put this over here for now I went ahead and uh, hooked it up to my power supply, like I said. And this here, um, this power supply is uh, obviously you can see the name it says it's called Doctor Meter, a DC power supply. And here's the model number. It's uh, PS three zero five DM. And you're able to control the current with these two knobs and the voltage with these two knobs. You have a fine adjustment on the current, a coarse adjustment, um, and a fine and a coarse on the voltage. And I'll show you in a second how that how that works. Um, so, and also you have a setting where you can set it to high amps or low, which is milliamps. And that's here by pushing it in. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And also you're going to need some um, banana clips that go into the ground and then the positive output and alligator clips that I have inside here uh, of the drill uh, I don't know if you can see that yeah right there and you just make sure you get the polarities uh, correct and for quick reference you look at the battery how it goes in you make sure you connect the positive to the positive side negative to the negative side and I'll go ahead and set that down there like so so, um, on here I put it on 18 volts, because uh, at 14.4 volts, um, it doesn't come on, even though that's the voltage, but it's the amps that actually uh, makes the tool work uh, harder. So, right now, it's set to 18.1 uh, volts, but on the current, it will not show current until you squeeze the trigger, and this will show you an indication of how much current is actually using to make the motor spin so if I turn this down all the way to the left as you can see that's 
that's zero. And make sure this one's zeroed out too. But what it did to my voltage, it got rid of it. So we need to come back uh, just enough to where that has passed a little minimum, so you still get your voltage. So if you go ahead and squeeze the trigger, see, you can see the voltage go down because the motor is waiting to turn, but it's the amps that's going to uh, make the motor turn. And as soon as I start turning the amps, now you're going to see this uh, start working. All right, I'm squeezing the trigger, and I'm turning the amps motor until it gets about right there to like 1.6 amps. You can see it's already turning. And if I max this out, which is about 4 amps, you can see that it's actually working. We're pulling 3.82 amps at 18.1 volts. And this is a 14.4 volt drill. Let go of the trigger, and, you know, it shows. So if I can start it up again, see, it still works. So this power supply is a great tool for doing this kind of testing. Okay, so I went ahead and disconnected uh, the drill, set it aside, and now I'm going to set it up for uh, testing everything else. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you that the uh, charger is in fact putting out voltage. And I'll go ahead and set my meter here to the DC uh, uh, section here, or uh, function, right there. And right on top of the charger is uh, the plus sign and negative sign. So I'm going to make sure that I put my leads on the correct side. And you're going to see that... And hopefully you can see on the meter that it's showing uh, 24.4 24 volts uh, coming out of the charger. So that tells me that, yeah, this 14.4 volt charger is putting out plenty of um, voltage to charge this battery. And of course, you know, it's, a, it's supposed to be a fast charger because it's the uh, charge plus. So, all right. And then for the battery itself, I'm going to go ahead and check the voltage on that. And you can see that it's 0 .000 all the way across. So these batteries here are pretty much dead. So I'm going to try this trick that I've seen other people do on YouTube using uh, other rechargeable batteries, except they hooked up like... For this one, you would need two 14.4 uh, two in series connected to get your 29 volts um, or two 18s uh, in series, and then you tap off of uh, one negative, and the, the lower negative, and then, then the higher positive. But in my case, since I have a power supply, it's going to be easier because I can just dial in exactly how much voltage I need. So what I'm going to do now is just hook up the meter I mean, the, to the power supply, and you can see on the meter, the meter showing 17.9 volt, uh, 95 volts, and the power supply is showing 18.1. So, just as a double verifier, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fine tune it so that the meter is also reading 18.01, which is 18 volts. Uh, so, but what I'm going to do, I actually need this to be 29 volts because it needs to be double the voltage of this. So I'm going to turn that until I get 29, just a little over 29. And let's see, the meter's saying 28. So, oh, okay, jump to 29. All right, let's go to the fine section and go ahead and turn that until the meter's reading. 29, okay. So my meter's at 29.03, uh, and power supply is at 29.3.4. All right, and I have it set to milliamps, so that when I do the, the jumping, it, it's gonna show me here how much uh, amperage it's drawing. So let me go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and disconnect this, turn this off, set this off to the side. 
turn that off. All right, now this is where I'm gonna take the, the wires and make sure, I don't know if you can see it right there. Let's see if I can, uh, hard to kind of focus. But you can just almost make it right on the top. Now that's the positive side and this is the negative side. So all you need to do is take the little spade connector, put it there. Uh, take a piece of the electrical tape that I have here and put it right there. Move that down just a little bit. Come on. All right. Easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> but let's try this again. All right. So I'm taking this and set it right there. I take the tape. All right. Got it on there. And I pull it tight so that way it stays up against the contact on the inside. Take the black, that's going to be the negative, and do the same on the other side. Hold it in place, bring the tape around so that it goes over it, and then bring it back around so that it, it's taped onto itself. So you get, just to ensure you got a good connection, is all. So when it's done, it should look like that. Okay? Taped all the way around. You can focus, and this way here, you make sure you got good connection. Okay. All right. So we'll set that down like that. Go ahead and make my connections here. Take the negative uh, or the black alligator clip and put it on the negative here of the connection, and. That can just hang there as long as they don't touch each other. So then I'll go ahead and turn this on and I'm going to take this and just tap it onto um, the, the wire. Okay. And you're going to see the meter jump uh, when I do that. And you should do it about for like seven seconds or so. And all right. So there's my voltage. My voltage still stays the same 29.3. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for like seven seconds. I'm going to just going to tap that and you're going to see the meter uh, jump in the amp uh, section. That means that there's a connection uh, between here. That means that this is actually connected good. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and tap this uh, for like seven seconds. One, two, three, four. And you're going to get a little sparking, and that's okay, because what it's doing, it's supposed to be waking up those batteries in there. And uh, let's see, okay, that's about seven seconds. All right. Okay. And supposedly that's all it takes. All right. Uh, go ahead and disconnect that. So after this, you... Let the battery charge. Uh, let the battery sit for like um, 15 minutes before putting on the charger, and it should recharge it. So we're gonna go ahead and check to see if this battery has any voltage now. Um, to see if this process by using the power supply is even gonna work, or if I have to revert to the um, Let's see if I'm in the frame right there. Okay. Uh, let me zoom back just for a little bit here. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my negative on the negative, like so, and then take the positive and. No, nope, still showing zero. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to see any voltage because it was not uh, something that stayed there for a while. So, 
I'm going to go ahead, or I could have just done this too. I stuck it right back here. Well, we'll see. Uh, it looks like it, it was getting a little bit, but then again, the meter's jumping all over the place. Yeah, do that and zero out the meter by touching them together. All right, so I'm going to wait 15 minutes and put it on the charger, and hopefully uh, this will come back. Uh, if not, uh, I may have to go ahead and... Uh, Spend the uh, 17 bucks on Amazon and uh, get another replacement of these. And I can still use the chargers. Charger's still good, still putting out voltage. And uh, But if it does work, I'll go ahead and make an update with it uh, fully charged and installed on the drill, showing you that it actually works. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up thumbs up and also uh, share with your friends all right well thanks for watching take care